Howdy y'all, welcome back to Guns and Barbecue. I am Guns and Barbecue. So today we are going to be doing a video on every second matters. But before we get into that, I would just like to say I finally got a microphone, so please let me know how this audio is. I hope it is improved. So to get the video started, as always, now I'm going to steal a page out of Patriot in the Dark's book. I uh, hope he doesn't mind. He hasn't told me he does yet, so we're gonna keep doing it until then. I love how he describes what's on the table for the visually impaired viewers, such as him and myself. So we're going to get to it. Up in the top left corner, I have my pink and white Every Second Matters patch. Then to the right of that, I have the tan and black Every Second Matters patch. And then to the right of that, I have one of two black and white Every Second Matters patch up in the top right corner. Coming down below the revolver that's in the center, we'll touch on that in a second. In a second, I have my orange Every Second Matters patch. And below that, in the bottom right corner, I have my OD green and black Every Second Matters patch. And then going back to the left corner, we have another black and white Every Second Matters patch, number two of two. All these patches I got over at gearwebsites.com. Um, I bought these all myself except for the orange one. Uh, that one I received for Free Patch Friday. I was very excited because I just love these every second matters patches. Um, so let's get to the gun in the center. I will tell you exactly what that is at the end of the video. If anybody can guess it before the end of the video, then you get absolutely nothing except for bragging rights. You can just be like, hey, I knew what it was, I guess. Um, I will say it's a 22 long rifle with a 22 mag. Uh, cylinder swap out so there's that so let's get into every second matters what is every second matters it is when you go out on the second of every month you can do this on other days too but the idea is going out on the second of every month because it's every second matters and trying to raise firearms awareness um I really am a big fan of this movement. It doesn't seem like too many people do it anymore or mention it much anymore. Uh, I'm not sure why that is, if it just kind of grew cold or wasn't enough people doing it. Um, but I, I sure would love to see more Every Second Matters videos and stories and whatnot being told. Um, it doesn't matter if you're a firearms owner or not. If you're just somebody that supports the Second Amendment, you can go out and do this. Uh, some ways to try and draw some attention to yourself. One, don't act a fool. Um, that is just detrimental to the cause. But some things that you might be able to do are things like wearing a shirt that says every second matters. I know these used to be made. I don't know if they still are being made. I'll have to look into that more and maybe tell you in the comments or maybe in next month's video because I'm going to try and do one of these on the second of every month. Um, if they're not being made anymore, you can go to your local embroidery shop or shop that's doing silk screening and have one made, I'm sure. Probably cost you like 20 bucks. Well worth it, I think. Um, Another option is going and buying these patches over at gearwebsites.com. Uh, I think for a four pack, which right now gets you the pink one, the OD green, the tan, and the black and white. Uh, I think it costs like 40 some dollars, so right in that ballpark for those four patches. It might be 50, but uh, I had actually bought the black and white one and really liked that. And after getting it, I just liked it so much I went and bought uh, the other ones So I that's how I ended up with two black and white ones uh, like I said the orange one I received on free patch Friday, so That's how I ended up with all my patches again your websites has them and The reason I like them is I can get the backing to the velcro sewed onto my concealed carry vest and wear multiple of these patches 
um, you have a nice jacket or something that you like to wear. It doesn't even have to be a nice jacket, it's just a jacket. You know, you could get it sewed onto the sleeve, uh, something like that, but I prefer my concealed carry vest. Um, whether I'm carrying inside the vest or I'm carrying at my regular three o'clock, maybe 3.30, uh, carry position with my 1791 holster. Um, I like that vest still because when I want to conceal easily, all I've got to do is have that vest on and it covers like everything. So I wear that thing everywhere I go. So with that being said, I can take these patches that say every second matters and I can put one on the left side, one on the right side and wear different colors. I can swap them out how I want, things like that. Um, predominantly, I'm probably going to do just the black and white one, and then I, honestly, probably going to do on the other pectoral area, the white and pink most times that I carry. One, uh, I think the black and white just shows up the best out of all of them. So if anybody is trying to read it, it'd be easy to do so. But the white and pink, I'm hoping be a little bit more of a conversation starter, especially with uh, females, uh, perhaps people of the LGBTQ community, um, things like that, where we might not necessarily have as strong a, of a firearm owners following. You know, hopefully it's just something that catches their eye and say, "Oh, that looks kind of nice." And whether it's them coming up to see what it is see where I got it, how they can get one, anything else. You know, once they get up there and say, well, what's every second matters, I can, you know, say, hey, well, it's this. Um, it, you know, and not only that, but it could just be guys. It's not like you have to have a certain sexual orientation or uh, reproductive organs to like the color pink. I mean, there's plenty of guys that do too. There's plenty of guys that would probably look at me and say, oh, you're a sissy for wearing pink. But either way, you know what? If that guy wants to call me a sissy because I'm wearing pink, well, now I still have him there to say, hey, let's talk about every second matters. So that's my idea behind that. And hopefully it works. Uh, other options that you could have would be open carrying. I am actually a strong proponent of open carrying. I actually have a video on open carrying. If you haven't seen that, please go watch it. Um, if I can figure out how to link it in the description, I will. Um, let's say you're not in a freedom loving state where you can open carry. Then another option is to carry a holster openly that is empty. Please check your state and local laws to make sure that this is a viable option for you and you're not gonna get into any legal trouble. Um, I've heard crazy stories where that could still be considered open carrying or causing alarm. It, there's crazy stuff, it seems, anymore, uh, especially with the world we're living in today. Just things, seems like things are getting crazier and crazier. So there's different ways to draw attention to yourself. Uh, you know, maybe if you go to that embroidery, you could even get a hat made that says every second matters. I think that would be pretty cool, a trucker cap or something. But maybe that's just a trucker in me coming out. So what can you do when these people come up to you? First off, look presentable, especially if you're open carrying. Um, brush your teeth comb your hair. If you don't have hair, congrats. Um, I'm right there with you, bald. Uh, if you don't have teeth, um, congrats still. I hope you enjoy your mashed potatoes. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm sure I just pissed off somebody there, but you'll be all right. Uh, but most of all, shower. Good God. Don't be a smelly foot. Nobody wants to talk to you if you're like that. And again, it's not going to look good on the cause because now if you're talking to somebody that's anti-gun or on the fence even, they're going to go, oh, gun people are smelly rednecks or smelly sacks of crap. Who knows? Um, heck, I would like to get away from the idea that, you know, gun owners are just smelly or not, excuse me, not smelly, but, you know, the whole redneck persona and things like that. Because there's people of all walks of life that are carrying firearms. And that's, again, the point of Every Second Matters to let people know that, hey, 
this isn't just one certain demographic that you think you see on the news. It's people of all creeds, all colors and races and uh, heritages and walks, just all walks of life that carry firearms and they do it daily and responsibly and safely. And these people mean no harm to you. And right now with everything that's going on, it might be a great time to engage these people and say, you know what, you see what's going on on the news? The police might not be able to help you. And, well, you know what? Perhaps the police are going to make the matter worse. Uh, you know, when, when somebody has their full body weight on a person's neck for seven minutes, that's not making things better. And especially when that person passes away. Uh, terrible. So you can make the argument that, hey, in the end, you're responsible for your own safety. You're responsible for your family's safety. You can't rely on law enforcement. You can't rely on somebody else to do it for you. You have to do it. So there's a lot of good that could come out of Every Second Matters talking to these people. But make sure you have an idea behind it when you're getting ready to go do this. What you're going to say. What you're going to answer to questions things like that don't be like me when i'm making these videos and just try and do it off the top of your head and do seven takes and you'll end up talking in circles like i do and people just get annoyed and walk away so i think that's about all i have i'm probably starting to ramble now um if you have any experiences with every second matters please share them in the comments i would love to hear them uh make your own videos or whatnot. Like I said, it seems like not enough people make videos on this anymore. Um, also, the revolver in the center of the table, if in case you are wondering, is a Mod Tex 22 long rifle with a replaceable 22 mag cylinder. It was imported by FIE, which was a company out of Miami, Florida, back in the 60s or 70s is when they stopped importing, I believe. I'll have to do my homework on that. Like I said, perhaps this uh, revolver in the center could be a video of its own. So, <clears throat> as always, thumbs up, thumbs down. Share the video. Uh, like I said, the biggest thing now, I'm trying to hopefully get people interested in Every Second Matters again and see if we can't gain some traction with this, get people on our side and raise an awareness about the Second Amendment. Um, <clears throat> comment your experiences, whether they were from today or previous days. I myself did not get to go out today. The people that I would normally rely on to get rides from were all busy whether it was work or they just you know have lives of their own so <coughs> excuse me sorry about that but yeah so I was not able to get out today but I can try and raise awareness on other days and let you know how it goes like I said we only encourage going out on the second of the month because you know it's every second matters but this is something you can do every single day so keep that in mind um as always, hit that subscribe button, folks. Keep those guns firing, your smoker smoking, and we will catch you next time. Thank you very much.